While reading your comments, I came to the conclusion that you would like to know how to make a pause. I split this video to three main parts. Fast solution, little theory and how to make a continue button. In the last tutorial, I showed how to use autoload functionality. If you don't know what it is, I encourage you to watch it right now. Making a long story short, we can use autoload scenes anytime during the game. Once added, it will be always autoloaded. The project already has two levels, movable character and music controller. But this method will work for any game. Let's create a new scene that will be a canvas layer node and add a script to it. I will tell you why to use this node later. In the input listener function, we will catch the escape button, which is under UI cancel by default. Of course, you can use any key you want. In our case, there will be only one line of code. Get tree paused is equal to negative get tree paused. In this way, we'll toggle our pause game status. We also need to add our scene to autoloads resources. Project, project settings, autoloads. The last thing is to change pause mode for this scene to process. And -da -da -da, we have a working pause. You can see that when I'm pressing the escape button, everything has stopped. In this case, music and player animation. It's time for theory. In the Gadoo engine, we have a master node, which is a tree. All nodes, scenes that we add in the editor are children of this tree, like levels, player node, enemy node, weapon node, fuel autoloads, and so on. All these elements have a pause variable. When it's active, all 2D or 3D processes like rendering, catching signals and other calculation will be stopped. Also, all inputs for these nodes will be stopped. By default, all elements have inherent mode, which means that we'll use pause status from a parent. So by changing pause status in the tree, we will change it everywhere. But we also need the possibility to change the status back to false. That's why I change pause mode in the pause scene to proceed. Using this state, the node will always proceed, no matter of behavior of the tree. Continue button. It's nice to give feedback for the player that the game is on pause. So let's make full screen darker. A good node to achieve this is a canvas layer. This is a node that's add a separate to the rendering layer, which will be independent no matter what we will do at the game level. Perfect choice for HUD. The easy way to achieve this effect is to use a black texture. I prepared one here, nothing special, simple rectangle. Let's add texture rect node and expand it to full screen using layout full rect. In this way we resized the node. Now use texture by drag and drop and expand it. Now we need to modulate this node to have transparency. Let's go to visibility settings and change alpha to something like 50%. Let's also change the name of this node and update the script to also toggle visibility as pause status. It's important to have a hidden background in the beginning. Now we have visual feedback for pause and let's add more option like continue button. Let's use the standard button node. Set text to continue move it to the center using layout center and make it flat. Now let's add signal to our script to turn off pause status. We can also improve our script by creating a set visibility function with the is visibility parameter to have all visibilities in one place. Let's use a loop to get all elements of this node. For node in get children node visibility is equal is visible. We can also use the function in the ready node to be sure that the pause menu is hidden. And we have a working pause menu. We can get back to the game by pressing a button or escape key. 
Bonus! We can add more options, for example, toggle full screen. We need to add a new button, let's call it full screen, edit text and move it to the center of the screen. Next, add signal on press and add OS window full screen is equal negative OS window full screen. And you can see, it was very easy to do. And that's all for this tutorial. I also want to thanks for Pixelfrog for sharing these great assets, they are for free and links are in the description. And of course to thanks you for watching and support. Like if you like it, dislike if you didn't and have a great day, night and so on.